or I'd get into the calm timing set, I put a screwdriver in a spark plug hole. Man, they ain't gonna hurt nothing. You just, you're easy with it. I hold the screwdriver with one hand. I turn the crank with another hand back and forth. I've already eyeballed the piston to the top. It goes up, it goes, then it goes down. So you back up. The piston will come up, then it starts down. It comes back up and it starts down. Right in the middle. It's top dead center. I get it here so I know damn sure I'm ballpark. That's all that's for. Then I come over here. You got your keyway right here. And you side it straight here, right straight to the center of the cam, an imaginary line. It's really close. It needs to go this way a little bit. Now, for cam chain, cam timing purposes, we're good. I've eyeballed this keyway straight through an imaginary line to the center of the cam. This cam dowel does go up like this. Now you put the sprocket on the chain and work it around till it looks about right with these two dots straight up like this everything will be like this those two dots straight up and put it on there put your tensioner on there roll the engine over twice you got to turn it all the way around twice to make one cycle to make sure nothing's hitting so if you have it wrong you won't bend valves when you try to start it so turn this over four or five or six times without the spark plug in it after you get it together and your cam chain tensioner Make sure you're not hitting. Make sure you're not hitting anything, and then come up, back up to top dead. Eyeball it top dead. Screwdriver at top dead. Get a good feeling of where top dead is, and then eyeball all your stuff here. If you're in line, you're good. An entire notch out is going to be obvious. See a tooth off is that far. You're gonna that, that's gonna be obvious. If it looks just a frog hair one way or another, you're good. If you don't think so, back it up on the chain. You just gotta lift the chain up off the sprocket, turn the sprocket before you put it on the cam to change the sprocket in relation to the chain and the cam shaft crankshaft. Just work at it. I've got this open like I told you earlier in the video because I put a new cam chain in it. Stator, uh, what, five bolts, flywheel, a nut, and then an old, old school Chevy 350 puller. It's in the video. Pull it off before that, this recoil cover. This in here holds oil. The stator behind it holds oil. Here's your, here's your seal. This out here is dry it does not hold oil so that's it just uh verify and double there verify your marks are lined up all you're doing is getting the cam opening the intake valves at the correct time and position of where the crank's at where the piston is when the piston comes down the intake's open right that's all cam timing is, getting the cam in time with the piston or with the crankshaft, whatever you want to call it. And that's why they got these marks all over it, so you can do it. You eyeball this straight up. You get your cam in here with the dowel straight up. See how that's straight up? Straight to the center line, imaginary line. You get the sprocket on there adjusted straight up. Then put your tensioner in. And roll it with everything torqued down as if you're ready to go. Roll the engine over five, six times. Make sure you're not hitting anything. Then bring it back up to top dead and see where you're at on your marks. If you're one tooth off, adjust it. Whatever. But that's how you do it. Piece of cake.